Good morning. My name is Brian Lodato. I'm Allison Bishop. And I'm Andrew McGillian. And today we get our presentation on how the Phillies found their formula and managed to win a World Series this year. Before we start, um, what do you guys think are some of the key reasons why the Phillies made it to the World Series this year? Exactly. I'm going to uh, give it to Allison who's going to give you a little bit of a brief history on the Phillies. Uh, the Phillies are in the National East Division of Major League Baseball, and they're, they play at Citizen Bank, as you all know, in South Philadelphia. And they won two World Series, which was 27 years ago and this year. And they've won six national pennants. Um, they've experienced some high expensive struggles, though, and uh, they're one of the team that's won the most, that's had lost one of the most games in the Major League Baseball, and this year was the first year they won in 27 years. Uh, what is their key to success? It's good scouting, good coaching, as Brian said. Big stars like Chase Utley, Ryan Howard, Jimmy Rollin, and uh, first draft picks, which were Jimmy Rollin was, or uh, second round pick and Ryan Howard was fifth round pick. Um, I'm going to talk to you about the low salary players who came up very big in the World Series and helped the Phillies basically win the World Series and if it wasn't for these guys they wouldn't be there right now. Uh, Jason Worth gets paid 1.7 million. Shane Victorino gets paid 480k. Carlos Ruiz it's paid 425k, and Pedro Feliz gets paid three million. I know that sounds very high to you guys, but in baseball, it's very low. Um, and those guys' batting averages were for the highest on the team in the World Series. Jason Worth was 444, um, Shane Victorino 250, Carlos Ruiz 375, and Pedro Feliz 333. That's just that's really good especially for the World Series. <clears throat> um, and the high salary players like Chase Utley, Ryan Howard, Bat Burrell, Jimmy Rollins, they're getting paid $7.8 million, $10 million, almost $14 million, $8 million, just blowing the other guys out of the water. And let's look at their batting averages for the World Series. <laughs> um, as you can see, Chase Utley, 0.167, Ryan Howard, 0.286, Pat Burrell, 0.071, getting paid $14 million, working out there like an animal, and uh, Jimmy Rollins, 0.227, not bad, but, you know, getting paid $14 million, you got to produce more than that. Go ahead. Um, the facts that Andrew was talking about really support the fact that money doesn't necessarily equal success when it comes to baseball. Um, the Phillies scouts have really done a great job of finding mediocre players that don't require high salaries, but they have the attitude and team commitment to really um, bring the team to good success. Um, Eleven of the MLB payrolls ranked higher than the Phillies' $98 million budget this year, and six of them didn't make the playoffs this season. Um, the Yankees and the Mets have the two highest payrolls in the MLB with 207.1 million and 137.4 million. Um, the Tampa, Tampa Bay's payroll ranks second lowest in the MLB at 43.4. So that's one third of the Yankees payroll, yet Tampa Bay made it to the World Series this year and the Yankees or the Mets did not. As the Yankees and the Mets show, money is enough to make you competitive. The teams that have the highest payrolls always have a good team whether they make it through the playoffs or not. And teams have learned to adapt to the recent era of payroll dominance. The Phillies were the fourth team in the last seven years who had payrolls ranking 12 or below um, who made it to the World Series. And um, scouting solid role players for a little money can be the difference between a decent team and a champion. Any questions? Like just the you know the amount of money like in comparison to the batting averages or the amount of money in 
comparison like their overall play. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, you're right. The batting averages aren't everything because you have Ryan Howard, who's a great first baseman, and well, not always, but most of the time. And um, Jay Sally, yeah, Jay Sally, just great fielder. Yeah. I mean, they definitely made it up with their fielding, but. Their batting averages weren't good, but I mean, yeah, they, they played good. Everybody played good, but the guys who came up when they needed to, when it counted, they just had the highest batting averages, came through the clutch, and they just got it done when they needed to. And one more thing. I mean, then again, Aaron Rowan, they got rid of him, and he was an outfielder, and he's at the Giants making $9.6 and you have Shane Victorino, who took a spot, who was an excellent fielder, and um, he's only making 400000 a year. What are they going to do if these guys keep producing and their contracts come up? Are they going to have enough money to resign them and be able to increase their payroll or not? Um, possibly. I mean, the Phillies kind of have a history of once the players <coughs> get real good, they kind of just let them walk and they acquire better, I mean, you know, more average players and let them work up to like the big star role and then kind of just keep letting them go. But I don't know. It's a good question. In many uh, management textbooks, they would say that if you have people that are underpaid, then the way you get them to succeed is by managing them. Mm -hmm. So, did Charlie Manuel manage them better than an average manager, or definitely one? How? Um, how? I, I <coughs> personally, I don't know what goes on in the locker room, all that, but I don't. I mean, pitching. All that, like he goes, you know, when there's pitchers, who's doing good, who's not doing good, when to put in the relief pitchers, when to do all that, when to when to have Matt Stairs batting, hitting a home run, coming up huge. Those are the key things that he does to make the Phillies a better team that they are this season. How important was February's acquisition? Brian Lynch. Oh, Sutton so wouldn't be in the World Series if it wasn't for him. Yeah, and I mean, if they had spent a lot of money on other players, then they wouldn't have had the money to acquire them.